Yes, Representative Just a, a couple more questions on uncompensated care. I know that some of our hospitals, there was an issue last session, an 1115 waiver. Do we have any update on any of that um, discussion uh, the, for, for both um, these bills? Yeah, um, I know that Commissioner Smith is, is in the audience and that uh, we can certainly, uh, he's, he's the one closest to where we are with the 1115 waiver renewal. And I know that he and I had a personal conversation not too long ago. It was very encouraging, I have to say, along with another, a number of other conversations around health care in general. Um, <laughs> I would ask if Chair Davis is okay. We could, at some point, we could get the uh, commissioner to maybe just give us a, a brief update uh, on where we are with that, because I know that's an incredibly important issue for everybody in the state in terms of the renewal. Um, I think, for the most part, you know what we know, what he knows in terms right. of what's being talked about up in Congress. But this specifically is something that I I know very well was absolutely front and center for the commissioner. And, he, and he's very willing to keep us appraised of what's, uh, what's going on in terms of that process. I mean, I, I, I only say that, bring that up because of the administration's and D.C.'s budget proposals are coming out and some of, the, some of the issues that are, or some of the items that are scheduled or proposed to be scaled down or, or cut would be in, in uh, health and human services at the national level. I'm just concerned, again, moving forward, how that affects us in the immediate term. Yeah, I think that's something that we uh, we certainly will um, will will stay tuned into, and I think that if there are if some of the expectations around what might be evolving at the federal level, you know, can certainly impact our bill, and I, I think you'll see uh, something a, a little later as we approve uh, different uh, things in this. Uh, at this meeting and this this docket of materials, you'll see some considerations for that. But specifically on the 1115 waiver, I would say that's uh, encouraging, and and you know I, I I remain hopeful. It's hard to budget around hope, but I remain hopeful around that. <laughs>